Hi, this is Lou Agave of Long Island Lou Tequila on Facebook, Instagram, the web, and TikTok, and everywhere in the world. This is Gregory Bottolata. Hello. Came to visit me, and uh, we're killing the summer here on Long Island. We're trying this brand I just picked up on Long Island at Bottle Bar. We made it now 1438, uh, where they make like a million uh, products. At least 150 brands. Yeah, that's a lot. That's a really big uh, contract distillery. Most of them okay brands. You know, nothing spectacular. I think they said this was a uh, mixture of, uh, of oven, oven cooked and autoclave. Autoclave, roller, um, was a stainless steel, I think. And. Um, that's about it. Nothing super spectacular. Grand so like, Vita means? Grand Vita means? Great life. Great life. Okay, I thought it was good life. I was going to say great life. So, uh, I had this the other night. Good life. I, can say, I, can say. I didn't think it was now. You see, I want to see what Gregory has to say about I'm this. Open, I'm because I tried it last night or the night before after I bought it. I'm going to let him say something first before I say anything. It's got a little burnt um, agave. I want to say cooked agave on the on the. Um... I don't like it. Yeah, there's no heat, but there's like a, almost like a, a burnt aftertaste in my in my mouth. I don't good, good, it. good way to describe it. It does have like a burnt. To me, it's like swampy, which reminds me of what, like Ophidia products, like you know, like the Casanova and stuff. This has that funk. No, I agree. It has funk. This is not what tequila, what I like in a tequila. This is herbal. You know, that's what that is. What right. we're smelling is an overabundance of herbalness. Mm -hmm. Too much herbalness is not so cool. You know, you never know how they manipulate a brand or a tequila, you know, so you don't know what they do. I don't know if this is additive free or not. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't know either. Um, it's, but there's something, there's something. There's something not exactly right about this, in my opinion. Uh, it's too herbally. It's uh, too funky. Um, it's not something I'd want to drink. Tequila Matchmaker, I'm going with like a 68. That's how much I didn't like this. Uh, I only paid $24.99, but actually you're still better off with uh, Suerte, Arrete, Cash Queen, Cimarron. There's so many better. Don't waste your money on this for 25 bucks. I think Gregory agrees. Have a great life. Cheers. Yeah, have a great life. Cheers. Long Island Lou Tequila. Salud.